coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Well, a cloudy, breezy and gloomy day to finish up the weekend with some rain showers that have been spinning around. And this is all because of a low pressure system that's well off to our north. We can see all the moisture that continues to spin around. So we're still having some rain showers work across the Wabash Valley. And it's not going to be until we get to tomorrow afternoon that we finally see this low pressure lift far enough away from us that takes the cloud cover with it. So expect the clouds to linger into the first part of the work and school week. And we still have some of these light showers passing through the area. So a couple more bands of rain getting ready to move into the Wabash Valley. That will continue at least for the first part of the night, but eventually we'll start to see some of that rain lift out of the area or at least farther to the north. It's also breezy on the backside of the cold front that came through yesterday. Yesterday we had highs in the 80s. Today we've been in the 40s most of the day and the winds out of the west adding even more of a chill to the air. 16 miles per hour in Paris, 17 mile per hour wind in Washington and 18 miles per hour down in Vincennes. And our actual air temperatures are in the lower to middle 40s. So wind chill values down in the 30s in several spots. 40 right now in Paris, 41 for Casey and Mattoon. It's 44 in Newton and Sullivan. Brazil's down to 39 and it's currently 46 in Vincennes and Lagodi. But looking at the temperature trend, it is going to be cooler tomorrow below average. The average this time of year is 64, looking at a high tomorrow of 54. But by Tuesday, we're right back where we should be. Then by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday, highs are going to be back in the upper 70s. So we're going to warm up, but briefly, because then another cold front's going to come through by the time we get to Thursday. And that'll cool us back down into the 60s and eventually into the 50s by the time we head to next weekend. So kind of a spring roller coaster temperature ride we have coming up for us this week. Now looking at future cast going through the rest of the night, it's kind of underdoing the precipitation that's still out there tonight. So expect some more of those showers to pass through and this could linger into the first part of tomorrow. And I'm sure you're noticing up here to the northeast future cast indicating some snowflakes may be mixing in and that certainly could be a possibility as overnight lows drop down into the upper 30s. Now our Monday forecast is going to be a little bit different if you're farther to the southwest compared to the northeast because notice over the course of the day that cloud cover just gradually pulls its way up to the northeast. So down to the southwest, highs tomorrow, climbing into the middle to upper 50s. Those under the cloud cover will only make it into the middle 50s. By 3 o'clock, we may get, catch some sunshine here in Terre Haute, so maybe some sunshine to finish up the day before most of this activity clears out of here going to tomorrow night. But a mostly clear sky tomorrow night means temperatures will be dropping down into the middle 30s, but then we'll have lots of sunshine by the time we get to Tuesday, and that's when we'll start to rebound with our temperatures. But tomorrow is still going to be a cool day, kind of chilly compared to what we had yesterday. So tonight expecting an overnight low in the upper 30s with some of those lingering showers, staying breezy with the wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Tomorrow 54, the best we can do for a high, some clearing late in the day, and more clearing if you're down to the southwest. Still breezy though, and then tomorrow night dropping down into the middle 30s, so we're going to have to watch out for some areas of frost especially if the wind can calm down as we approach sunrise Tuesday morning. But looking at the seven day forecast again, we're back into the upper 70s by Wednesday and Thursday. That cold front brings our next chance of rain with some scattered thunderstorms late in the day Thursday and then some lingering rain showers into the first part of next weekend.